So, so the real challenge is not putting enough power on board the vehicle. The real challenge is not envisioning what it would be like to drive the thing. The real challenge is not letting the viewer feel it in the seat of her pants, his pants. The real challenge is getting the magnets right. Because this is the edge of the technology, right? This is the edge of the envelope as far as we're concerned. Um, the, the reality of, of high power magnets, and that's the wrong term to use, but the reality of very, very high magnetic fields in very tight spaces with a reasonable range is that it only belongs to the world of superconductivity, right? And this, uh, the, the, and if you want to kind of envision this, um, these are magnets or magnetic materials which are at cryogenic temperatures and really, really cold, down towards absolute zero. We've been trying to get them to work at room temperature for 30 or more years, and it's just, it doesn't seem to be happening. The thing about material science, which is really what this comes from, it sounds really boring, but that's actually where it is, is that you have the entire periodic table to play with, right? The whole periodic table. And it may take just a few elements here and there thrown into the mix, like in a blender, to get it right. And so one day we might, bing, just end up with a magnet that works. Uh, and what I mean by works is works at a reasonable temperature, at a reasonable size, to make a package that you could put on a light pole to actually have a vehicle travel right across it. Um, so it's not science fiction exactly. We build magnets now that do incredible things. I mean, we have experiments. Uh, that use high power magnets and superconductivity to make it possible. Uh, the most famous recent example is the Large Hadron Collider and the discovery of the Higgs boson behind very high power superconducting magnets. Um, so, in terms of having them on light poles out in the desert, you know, crossing these terrains and having these physical plants, much like, oh, you know, here's a stop sign, here's a light pole, here's a tree, they have to be magnets. I mean, you know, we're talking about science fiction, right? But it begins to merge with science in this rich region where you can pluck things out and it looks like it's entirely plausible because it actually is, right? So uh, maglev is just the tip of the iceberg. The fact that it happens to be what makes these cars move is the icing on the cake because it's actually, it's actually possible.